Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,327. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,327 to 1,328 start file or the finished file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here, and our goal is simple. We simply want to count words. Now we have some mixed data over here. And to add a complication, we have a cell that has a zero length text string, and we have a cell that has a space. Now, if you didn't have these two, it's pretty straightforward, the formula we can create. But we'll make some simple amendments to our formula to take into consideration zero length text strings and spaces. Now, first off, we have some numbers and some text, right? Most of the time, we use count a if we have a column that simply has text data. Now, what does count a do? It counts the number of cells in the range that are not empty. So obviously, from reading that, this is not going to work, because it'll count everything here except for the one empty cell. So count a does not work. Now, oftentimes, we do use count a when we have text only. But here, it's not going to work. Now, let's try count ifs. Count ifs will allow us to count given one or more conditions or criteria. So I'm going to highlight everything, comma. And we want to think about what our criteria would be if we wanted to count text only. Well, one way we could do it is in double quotes, we could use asterisks. Now, asterisks is the wild card that means zero or more text characters. So when I end double quote and close parentheses and hit Enter, it counts six. Now, it's going to count the text because these have four, four, five characters, and so on. But unfortunately, it's also going to count this one because it's a zero length text string. And the actual wild card that we used over here is zero or more. And of course, it's going to count the space because that's a single character and sue. It's not counting that empty cell. We can amend this to avoid zero length text strings by adding another wild card the question mark. Now, the question mark says one character only. Any character you want, but it can only be one character. So this, in essence, we're combining this to say, please count one or more characters. Now, that works most of the times when you don't have spaces entered into the column. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to leave that one there, because I use this formula a lot when I know I don't have extra spaces, but I have mixed data. And I only want to count text with one or more characters. Now I'm going to copy this escape, Control-V. Now what do we need? We need one more condition. Now count ifs can count with many conditions. But in this case, since we have the same range, we're going to have to enter the same range again, comma. And now our criteria, our second criteria, needs to be not a space. So we put it in double quotes, not comparative operator is less than, greater than, together. Then I type a space and end double quotes. This is the criteria that says, please count when it's not a space. And if we look over here, that's not a space, that's not a space, that's not a space, and that's not a space. Now when I control Enter, I get the correct count, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We've avoided both zero length text string and a space. Now, you might ask, why don't we just use this right here? Well, if we took this out, delete and hit Enter, it's going to be polite and count everything that's not a space, including the number. So Control-Z, that's the formula we want. All right, we'll see you next trick.